talking about the plant based industry plant based proteins are more ecologically viable as compared to animal based owing to the less use of natural resources as well as less pollution or damage that is caused to the environment by their production however you and me need to sit back and think whether plant based industry or plant based solutions are really that sustainable in the long run so due to a huge surge in demand there is already supply chain imbalance in acquiring raw materials added to this geopolitical instability climate problems and limited manufacturing capacity remain to be the key challenges that are faced by this industry and will hamper its growth in the long run the solutions can be why not let it cell culture or lab grown meat cell cultured meat is directly produced from gene and cell therapy a science that is increasingly used in the field of regenerative medicine additionally this production method eliminates the need to grow and farm animals for protein uh, cell culture or lab grown meat is a decade old industry still in its infancy and hence manufacturers should look at this emerging field to collaborate and invest in this sector's overall development there are three primary challenges that are faced by cell culture meat or protein industry first is scalability second is the time it consumes in order to manufacture and third is cost that is affordability for the consumers so talking about scalability scalability not only to the point where it is commercially viable but to the point where it is able to take a huge bite out of the animal protein industry It is time-consuming to develop stem cell line suitable for cultured meat production. Cell line engineering requires advanced gene delivery technology. Additionally, it is challenging to deliver genes into cells that have desirable traits like fast biomass accumulation. Lastly, the most important challenge that cell cultured industry faces is cost. cost when i say cost what i mean to say is affordability in line with maximized productivity so when considering how to scale up startups can rely on well established biopharmaceutical manufacturing companies that have been growing cell cultures at large scales for more than a decade The reason why I say this is because upstream processing that is required to grow cell culture protein relies on the same techniques and equipments that are used to grow viral vaccines, monoclonal compounds, and other biologics. As a result, companies can scale up by experimenting with product differentiation and test proof of concept of new processes in order to penetrate and enter into this new market additionally prices of equipments have been falling in developing regions and hence location of the manufacturing unit will act as a key deciding factor leveraging expertise and equipment from biotech and animal meat industry will help to de-risk technologies especially when equipment and processing comes into the picture of scaling up Emerging trans-gene free technologies such as microfluidics and nanostructures are being developed that can deliver genes at a high throughput and efficiency. This will overcome this technical limitation. Companies will have to develop state of art sensor equipment ideally integrated into the bioreactors themselves. They will also need to develop processes that are amenable to automation and real time response. So talking about affordability finding alternatives to most expensive ingredients will go a long way in reducing costs for example serum free media and amino acids derived from soy hold potential to give you an example osa meat which is a company based out of netherlands in 2020 announced that it had reduced its media cost by 88 fold compared to biopharma and cell therapeutics cultured meat industry provides a whole new paradigm for cost effective analysis and optimization for example raw materials like hydrolysates or polysaccharides that are sourced from large scale agricultural processing can be used as substitutes for the cell cultured media rather than relying on highly expensive and highly processed amino acids and sugars 